thunderstorms Monday afternoon chased folks off the beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm meteorologist Kristen Clark. Now a quick check on the tropics. We've been tracking Tropical Storm Franklin in the Western Caribbean. That's the latest tropical cyclone this season that we are tracking. But there's also an area of uh, low pressure about a thousand miles east of the Lesser Antilles. And this is an area to watch. While in the short term, no tropical development is expected over the weekend, this area could become better organized in terms of uh, tropical development. But this is Franklin's track moving across the uh, Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, maintaining tropical storm status as it moves into the Bay of Campeche, what will again make landfall early Thursday, all staying south of the America coastline. Nashville, showers and thunderstorms to start the week as we track a cold front into the southeast. Now, this front is going to stall pretty much the rest of this week. Between now and about Thursday, this wavy boundary is going to be just sitting over the southeast, generating showers and thunderstorms. And some of this rain could be locally heavy at times. Obviously, we have a lot of available moisture right near the surface from the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico, all encountering this stalled front. So each day this week across the Gulf Coast states and the Carolinas, it looks like we'll have a pretty good chance of showers and thunderstorms thunderstorms and they will be non-severe but again slow moving and capable of locally heavy rain. Looking at rainfall amounts here to maybe top three inches in Jackson and over an inch in Atlanta, over two inches potentially in Birmingham as showers and storms develop in some of these same areas again Wednesday for midweek.